I feel like it's like a lot of protein. <laughs> Hi guys, we are now back in the capital of Croatia, which is Zagreb. If you haven't seen already this video, my favorite city of all time so far actually. Today, we're gonna go find some traditional Croatian food. That? <laughs> We He's looking for vegan we food. We should eat bagels. <laughs> we, we should, we should. <laughs> we should, it's indeed. true. <laughs> Not looking for vegan food, but we're looking for some traditional food. <laughs> Let's go. So I've done my research and found that a popular dish here in Croatia is something called Cevapcici. It actually originated in Bosnia, but it is very popular amongst other Balkan countries. So I thought, let's try my first Cevapcici in Croatia. And I looked online and found that this place, Plak, is actually the best place for Cevapcici in Zagreb. I've ordered a small chivap chichi and it costs 26 kuna, which is about three pounds. So let's give it a try and see what it looks like when it comes. It's basically, well I've had six, Charlie's had ten, like little meatballs, like that. And then in like a really nice light bread that's almost like a crumpet. And then you get onion and then you get this sauce which is called Ivar. Uh, um, it's like a pepper tomato -y paste. And then, well Charlie's already dug in, you get like a, a cream cheese paste to go on top of it. Okay, let's do a taste test. I think you can pick it up like a sandwich and just bite it, but I'm gonna be a bit sophisticated just to try it. Got it all in one bite. Oh my god. That is amazing. That is good. It's like a posh kebab. <laughs> but you can taste like the creaminess of the cheese mixed with the pepper. Oh my god. That is amazing. <laughs> that bread is amazing and it's not like a pita bread it's like a really light fluffy flat bread. flat bread anyway i'm gonna enjoy all of this i'm not even embarrassed to admit that i ate the whole of that meal because it was absolutely delicious and it was super cheap and yeah, I would highly recommend going to Plaque for a chivapchichi. If you've never tried one, you must do, because you don't know what you're missing out on. Ramadan is rolling. Ramadan. 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 Oh, there's none left? I don't really know. I don't really know. I don't really speak English. I don't really know. I don't really know. Ah. Hello. Have a try. Did you just eat it? Yeah, without the, yeah, without the chill. <laughs> Mmm. You like it? Oh, yeah. It's good. I feel like it's like a lot of protein. <laughs> like you could probably only eat one. I feel like when I see roasted chestnuts, I just think of like Christmas, but it seems that there are, they are very popular here and there's loads of like old people selling them on the corners and stuff, which is cute. So let's try it. Oh, it's very, it's quite dry, but yeah, very, Proteiny and good though. 
It's like super filling. Yeah. Mmm. Kind of has like a potato, mushy texture. Like a mini brain. A mini brain? <laughs> Do you eat brains? <laughs> I'm no, nervous no. about who I'm with, y'all. <laughs> if you don't see me in the next vlog, <laughs> reach out. I might not be okay. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> It's time for a drink, so we just came to La Bodega. <laughs> I was trying to keep it traditional Croatian and ended up with an Afro spritz, thanks to Julie. So cheers. This is actually my first time trying an Afro spritz. Properly. Oh, it's not what I thought. Maybe. Oh, that's good. It's got like a tang taste. Yeah. Mm, it's good. And considering we're in like a, would you say it's kind of higher end? Yeah. A bit more of a high end bar. It's only 32 kuna for an Afro Spritz. Bargain hunter. <laughs> so I'm now on my way to one of my favorite streets here in Zagreb to try a dish that I've never tried before. So see you at the restaurant. It is 20 past one, so it's time to have a beer. I can't lie, I'm not even a beer drinker, but I feel like doing a food vlog, you cannot miss out the local beer. This is Ojushko, and it's a local Croatian beer. Yeah, they have like It's quite nice, not very strong. It's like a. It's quite smooth actually. It's not very fizzy though. It's quite flat. But yeah, not bad. So I've come to this restaurant called Nocturno. It is an Italian restaurant and the dish that I'm going to try is originally from it Italy but it is a very very popular dish here in Croatia and along the Dalmatian coast so I'll show you what it is when it arrives. That's it guys, it's a black risotto that I've never tried before. First impressions is, are that it's huge, it's an absolutely massive portion. Would probably be enough for two people. It's made from cuttlefish and the black colour is from the squid ink. And then it has onions inside and I think maybe mushrooms as well. It just smells very parmesan -y. Mm. It tastes good. It's not very strong, considering that it looks like a Bush Tucker trial, something on I'm a Celebrity. It actually tastes really good. I think this is a mushroom, and that looks like a hair, but it's not. Well, at least I hope it's not. Oh no, it's not. That's not a mushroom. That's the fish, the cuttlefish. Mmm. Mm, that's good. I can't say that I've ever tried cuttlefish, but I'm actually pleasantly surprised. Um, it kind of has the same texture as squid, and it's not super fishy. It's actually really good. I would probably give it like an 8 out of 10. It's tasty. Maybe lacking a little bit something. I don't know. Salt, season, I don't know, but it's good. Black risotto one, sky nil. That was such a big portion. Definitely could not finish all of that, I'm so full. Plus the beer on top, it doesn't help. But I've got to save some room because I'm gonna find something sweet and Croatian to eat after this. So for that black risotto and half pint of local beer, it costs 69 kuna, which equates to around £6.70. It's not a bad lunch. Oh. 
Oh. It's going to record the process. <laughs> It's like minus 10 degrees outside. So Where are we? Because we don't look like we're in a restaurant. We don't look like we're in a restaurant. We kind of look like we're in somebody's like side room in the house. Um, it's called La Struc. And it's a very traditional restaurant. They serve like savoury and sweet dishes. The savoury dishes is like some sort of like cheese with pastry. Um, kind of looks like that. Or they do the same one that's um, gratinated, so it comes in like a clay pot like this one. But they also do them sweet, so I'm looking for something a little bit sweet <laughs> and sugary. So I'm going to go for a gratinated, well, you'll see when it arrives. <laughs> This is the sweet version of the strukli. The waitress told me that the traditional strukli is actually a salty cheese, but I've gone for the sweet. So this is filled with um, pastry, heavy cream, some cheese, and blueberries. It's like a lasagna. <laughs> it looks like cottage cheese. I don't know what kind of cheese it is. Please, please like it. Oh, that's so hot. That's actually really good. I swear to God. I'm not trying it, so don't even try and give it to me. That's fine. I know that you're a bit of a wimp. That is actually good. Let me try again. You have to try it twice to get the proper. Let me just blow this for half an hour. That's actually really sweet and nice. I'm really surprised. No, honestly, I'm really surprised. That is actually really good. Who'd have thought the cheese and blueberries would go so well with dough? That is good. Really good. Do you like cookie dough? Try some. No. Not like cookie dough. It's like dough, like a, like a crepe, like a crepe texture. So yeah. Nice, nice surprise. I would definitely recommend you guys to try the salty cheese one and this one to compare the two. But yeah, stop recording now because I'm going to eat it all. And there we have it. That is the end of my food tour in Zagreb. Hope you enjoyed it. I definitely did, probably too much. I'm so full. But the food here is really nice. I would highly recommend all of the places I've tried. So yes, if you like this video, please click the like button. If you wanna see more of my adventures, then please subscribe to my channel. If you wanna be notified when I upload, then click the bell notification and see you in the next one. Bye.